and welcome back to everyone. God bless you in Jesus' name. Today we're going to have a look at Samuel L. Jackson, who for most of us probably rose to fame when we saw the 1994 Quentin Tarantino movie Pulp Fiction in which he murders people while quoting uh, the Bible to them. He's also been in uh, Django Unchained, Shaft, Jackie Brown, and the list goes on and on in the movies that Samuel Jackson has been in. So we're going to ask the question, is Samuel Jackson part of the club, member of the secret societies? Is he what you would call a member of the so-called, for lack of a better term really, the Illuminati? Well, starting us off, we see him covering up his mouth, which is the vow of silence. It warns other initiates who are also a part of the club that you must keep your mouth shut. The secrets are copyright. You can't give them out to anyone else. And of course, here he is. Uh, This is from a movie that he was in. Honestly, I I don't know what movie it was. But as we we showed you in the the video about Brad Pitt, and you'll see this going forward over and over and over again. And matter of fact, you'll see it a lot in Quentin Tarantino films a lot. uh, This this theme of an eye patch over the person's eye, and a lot of times it's there's no context. There's not. There's never an explanation in the film about maybe the person lost their eye or nothing. It's just there for absolutely no reason. But those of us who have been looking into this for a while know exactly what the reason is. Because it's it's the one-eyed symbolism again. It's this Eye of Horus reference that they do constantly. And of course here he is uh, covering up his eyeball conspicuously. I guess because just like the rest of them, he's... The photographers in Hollywood also make a little side money. It's a little side hustle as an optometrist is is what it is. And let's also point out that this next photo that you're seeing here where he's covering up his eyeball again with the gun, let's point out the fact that most of these Hollywood celebrities, if they're they're not outright promoting blasphemies and uh, sex outside of marriage and all these things, violence. Uh, brutality is the name of the game and, and, and Samuel Jackson my goodness the roles that he's played over time he's sort of associated with the 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 badass right pardon my French uh, who goes around taking care of business essentially these are your heroes this is what's promoted to you more one-eyed symbolism from Mr. Jackson here, as well as the V. And you see this with the, the so-called peace sign that they throw up all the time. You'll even see where in the video that I did on Johnny Depp, where he puts his hands out, uh, that a lot of times what they'll do is they'll have their hands out and then their pinky fingers will be extending out further, uh, making these two Vs on each hand. Uh, it's constant. It's it's a constant reference to the V's or the fives. Um, in Adam Weishaupt's uh, Bavarian Illuminati, they had the Law of Fives. In the Satanic Brotherhood, V is a reference to the devil. Uh, given the context that the so-called peace symbol emerged from, which is this 1960s counterculture, which is essentially communes of witches coming out on the scene, it's not really hard to understand what that symbol actually represents. You know, especially not when you know what the bands that were behind the music at the time were really about, from the Beatles on. Here he is getting a little creative with the one-eyed symbolism because you gotta mix it up, you gotta stay limber, you gotta stay hip, be in touch with the young people. (laughs) I just made that up, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, there, there's only so much commentary I can provide for the same symbolism over and over again in each one of these videos. But yeah, kind of creepy. And uh, finally, in conclusion, you got the 
it, you know, it is it is one-eyed symbolism, and also you got the the V again. So at least I didn't confuse him with uh, Lawrence Fishburne in this video. Not that I would, but they make jokes about this in Hollywood all the time about how the two are confused. At any rate. Samuel Jackson, if you ever watch this video at all, sir, I wish you no ill will. Um, I'm just concerned about our world and concerned about what I'm seeing from your profession. I would ask that God bless your life and that you, you repent of your sins just as I must and give your life to Christ and be born again, be baptized and live for the kingdom rather than for this world and then promote that as well in our world because we need more of that. Less guns and Bible quotes while we shoot everybody in the room. More Jesus Christ than scripture. God bless everybody who watched this video. Hope you have a blessed day.